G'day to you! My name is Prosper Tarovinga and obviously if you're watching this part of this video you're watching a replay um, today we're going to be talking about the things that only 10% of the people in your industry are doing so if you actually stop doing these things you will be doing have a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable and I see look Moroni has just <laughs> tuned in how are you going my brother hope you had a fantastic weekend right there see my mission basically is to help entrepreneurs like yourself to actually set up um, you know reliable and lucrative businesses so that they're profitable and enjoyable well I can't compete with you my man with your hustle t-shirts so <laughs> that should be all right I mean obviously um, a lot of people will be catching up um, on this video as we go along Oh, since it's a Monday, some people have a big case of the Mondayitis. Let's not worry about them jumping on. They'll always watch the replay. So that's the reason why I want that. If you're watching this section of the video, you're watching the replay. It basically just, um, you know, um, has been recorded uh, for the next 30 minutes, uh, you know, while we were talking about like I said, those uh, things that the 10% people in your industry are actually doing that you are not doing. The reason why I show up every single day, um, you know, online is because I really value my consistency. I really value, um, you know, being present, even if nobody's watching, even if nobody is there. But it is proof testament to myself and to the people that I am leading that you can be do and have a profitable business if you have the courage to actually stand out on your own, even if no one is watching. OK, so basically, um, you know, the premise of this show is to help you start scale and grow a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable. And this is only because I believe that if you're running an online business, it has to be profitable and also, you have to enjoy, um, you know, running the business yourself. I also believe that as online as online businesses, we should be able to create for and relate to those we're going to be, um, you know, demanding money from. So that's the reason why every single day at 2 p.m. EST, we sit around here and I'm showing you, um, you know, the blueprint that has not only helped me, but also my clients to actually capture the right kind of clients, create the right kind of content that goes to them, uh, convert those clients into paying customers and then connect with them in such a way that it actually makes them more money with a less struggle all right so if you watch this video up until the end I really want that if you found great content in this to just share this video it's no longer a popularity contest for me but I want that if we can help um, as many people as we can we do it together all right so there's certain things that normally happen, um, you know, when people are starting a business. First of all, you've got to learn your industry. Third of all, you've got to master yourself and then figure out how you're going to be showing up to your audience. No matter what you're going to be doing, find something that you're pretty good at. Find something that you're passionate about and be consistent. All right. So we're going to be talking about a few of those things and really looking at how when you set out to become wealthy as a person, you know what I mean, and wanting to leave an impact in the rest of the world, it's not easy, all right? Some people start off, you know, wanting to be president. They start campaigning eight years before, all right? So that is the same thing with our customers as well. If we want to sell to somebody four years, um, you know, in the future, we have to start working on them now. All right. So how do they then do that? You create that trust, you you create that no factor and you also create the resilience within yourself because you if you can't move yourself or if you don't have a feeling of confidence within yourself, there's no way you'll stick with it even if nobody is there to watch you or to cheer you on as you go. All right. So these are the things that we're going to be talking about in this video. And most of the people might think this is trivial or it's not important. But on a Monday like this, you always want to be reminded that if it were easy, everybody will be doing it. Do you know what I mean? If it were easy, 
We would be running four minute miles. We'll all be, um, you know, presidents. We'll all be running multi-million dollar businesses, but it's not easy. And it's days like this that actually show you that it's not easy for everyone else. On a Friday, I normally get 10, 15 people watching. On a Monday, one or two people watching. What does that show me? It shows me not everyone has, has, has geared up or is ready or they're battling within themselves to actually, um, you know, go ahead and do anything work related just because it's the start of the week. So at that point, or at whatever point you might be in your business, um, when you realize and you start acknowledging that it's not easy and you really, you know, resolve to be in the 10% of the people that are actually being, doing and having profitable businesses, you will actually, um, you know, you actually set yourself apart. And Luke Moroni says, get ready, people. <laughs> It is a Monday, my man. So it's one of those days where I believe that if we help each other by actually helping each other to be motivated, to actually have a vision and to be passionate about what we're doing, it will rub off onto other people so that they can actually see what is expected off of them or what they can become. Do you know what I mean? At, at, at any point in your life, it will be much of a, an accomplishment if you can actually stand back and look at the stuff that you did every single Monday that has propelled you to put, to, to, to go ahead within your business. You know what I mean? Um, you know, rather than being extremely successful, um, you know, or just thinking of being financially free within your business, have you ever asked yourself, who am I becoming by doing what I'm doing? Maybe that is the biggest resolve that a lot of people haven't really figured out that they should appreciate the person that they are becoming. Because if you know who you have become and how far you've come along, you will start appreciating the amount of work that is needed for you to grow, uh, you know, you know, throughout, you know, the, the stages of your, of your, of your growth or of, of your business, you know, and especially when nobody's watching, especially when nobody's giving you accolades, especially when nobody's giving you a pat in the back, how far have you come as a person, as a business or as a parent, as a father, as a brother, or as a person. How far have you come? Because the best people that I know have developed habits that help them reach their goals. And if you're growing personally and throughout your business as well, you will become fulfilled as a person. And no matter what you're doing, whether it's work or life, you don't even need to have or strike that balance. And that's the reason why some people cannot transition from a weekend to a work day because, you know, they, they automatically switch off when it becomes Friday. So if you create routines within your business, um, you know, that will always propel you, always get you ready to showcase who you are and to show up to your, um, you know, to your audience, you will not need that work-life balance because what you do is who you've become. And who you've become is what pays you. And that is where wealth and also your, your legacy is created. But these routines that, you know, make it seamless or easy, they are challenging. And that's the reason why a lot of people don't do them. Or if they know about them, they consciously ignore it because your brain is designed to protect you. And anything that looks like work, it tells you not to do it. How many times have you ever wanted to pick up the phone to ring up, you know, new clients and then you're like, oh, no, it's a Monday. Everybody's still having Mondayitis. I'll try it tomorrow. Guess what you've done? You've you've already, you know, let go of an opportunity where somebody would have been receptive to your phone call. You know, so you want to create these routines and allow time with consistent effort over long periods of time for them to actually materialize. Rome wasn't built in a day, you know? So today I'm going to be exploring all these tendencies or routines that you need to start tackling in order to propel your life to success. And it starts with embracing Monday as a day, you know? And Luke says, yes, I've done that. Not call on Mondays. <laughs> Absolutely, because... We, we start telling ourselves things that we then start believing, Luke. And then it, it, it sounds sensible in our heads that, oh, no, I think everybody is still not ready for my calls. Let me do it on Tuesday. But can you see the time that you would have wasted trying to think that and then justify that off of yourself? 
You know, maybe you can take advantage of Monday to just talk to the people you've been introduced to over the weekends. How many people talk to people they were actually introduced to? Because when somebody introduces you to another person, you know, they, they, there tends to be a really good reason for it. Because we cannot connect the dots looking forward, but we can connect the dots looking backwards. How many times have you remembered or, you know, changed the way your business is run just because you spoke to somebody who you didn't know existed and then they gave you a nugget or they gave you an idea just because they were introduced to you by somebody throughout the week and then and, and you just decided to follow up on them, you know? Top people actually take advantage of any introduction because they know that this might lead to great opportunities. Everyone knows somebody that knows something about something. All right. So if somebody introduces you to anyone, take advantage of that opportunity. Use days like Monday because it's a warm lead. It's not exactly like a cold call. All right. Because, you know, with, with, with what we do as people, it's easy to blow off an intro and not follow up on people. And guess what? Miss doing that is usually a missed opportunity to actually create a relationship with a like-minded person. So why don't you use Mondays to actually introduce, I mean, you introduce other people to, to other people within your network or use Mondays to actually, um, you know, follow up on those people that you've been introduced to. Yes, 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 Tandy. How are you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> Hope you're having a fantastic, um, is it, is it a Sunday for you there? Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. All right, so Mondays could be days that you could take advantage of, you, you know, introductions because it's a warm lead, it's a warm transfer, or it's just a warm conversation that you have with those people. Maybe they're going through Mondayitis. You could actually, you know, exchange value with them, you know, and then... Half of the time, we have people that are around us and we normally forget to do the little things with the, with the few people that are already, um, you know, in our, in, our, in our periphery. Consider the little things that you can do with people you already know. You know, the best people that I know, you know, they're admired by people around them. Find out who is around you that you can just pick up the phone and start talking and give value to. Do you know what I mean? Because if you're putting out high quality work and you've got personal interactions or, or likely both, people are more than happy to find out what else is new around you or what you've got or who they can introduce you to. Why don't you use Mondays for that? You know, because people have already seen what you're putting out there. So pick up the phone and call the people or reach out to the people that watch your live videos, people that, you know, um, receive your emails and find out how else can I improve on my content or what else can I help you with? Instead of wallowing in your own sorrow of, you know, thinking I'm not moving forward, why don't you actually create for and relate to the people that are, you know, listening to your content? People remember if you're very clever and you know the people that are around you, you would remember names and then follow up on those people. Find out how else can you be of service and then take smaller steps to create those relationships around you. You know, something as small as sending a text message after, um, you know, after um, a, a Facebook Live like this or after sending an email, etc., etc. It just makes a whole big difference to somebody else who was having a bad day or who was actually looking for the services that you offer. Now, um, Ngodizasha says on Man Mandino says tomorrow's labor is for the lazy man. Tomorrow's labor is for the lazy man. I'm paraphrasing. Oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. Because if you say you're going to do it tomorrow, that's procrastination. And the more you procrastinate, the more you're not going to do anything else. How are you doing, by the way, Ngoni? Hope you're having a fantastic so is it Sunday or Monday for you? Let me know in the comments below. All right. So instead of you just thinking, oh, what should I do on Monday? Connect. Use it as your connecting day. All right. Use it as the day that you constantly or are, are reaching out and really finding out. Do you still have the permission to be talking to the people that you're talking to? Because we might be having a chip on the shoulder thinking, oh, people are watching my videos. But what are, what are they watching? Why are they watching? So figure out how you can do more of that and use Mondays for that. 
Or if you're really not in the mood of interacting with people, use Mondays to learn new things. You know, read, read on a Monday. Like what um, Uncle Ngoni is saying, you know, about OG Mandino. I think OG wrote about four books. One of them that I know um, off the top of my head is the greatest salesman um, in the world. I don't know the other ones, if you can type them there. Because the brightest people are always learning. One of my values is to leave, learn and contribute. You can't tell me you know everything that is happening in your industry right now. So if you can't face any people within your business, use Mondays as your learning day. Because there's endless, endless, endless knowledge out there. And in order for you to continue to improve, you have to learn more. And reading is a necessity. I want you to type in the comments there. What is the last book that you read? Can you type it in the comments? What is the last book that you actually read? You know, that, that can propel you or help you, um, you know, improve your personality or improve your business. Can you type in the last book that you actually read there? Welding NZ. Is that Steven Seddon? Is that Steven Seddon was watching from uh, Welding NZ? Let me know if that's you, Steven Seddon. And you see, that's the power of knowing your people and knowing what business they're actually doing so that you can connect with them at any different level. Do you know what I mean? A lot of people make excuses and say, oh, I don't have time to read or, you know, I'm always busy, etc., etc." But if you can tell me the last book you read or what you were doing from 9 a.m., the time you woke up up until this time around on a Monday... You know, because some people, some people are always busy doing nothing. Scrolling through Facebook is not being busy. And guess what that does to you? It demoralizes you because you're seeing other people doing stuff. You're seeing other people's status updates and say, oh my God, they're so smart. I don't think I'll be able to even say things like that. You know, the best people, the top 10% within your, um, Men's search for meaning. Uh, is that Victor E. Frank? Is that is that the book you're talking about? Can you let me know? Look, I've read this book. It's fantastic, bro. Yeah, you know. Um, oh, Monday, five seventeen a.m. Ah, oh, are you a five? Are you a five a.m. riser, my man? That's absolutely fantastic. And look, yeah, absolutely. You know, the best people do not allow themselves to make excuses because excuses sound best to the person that's actually saying them. So instead, prioritize on personal learning. In the times where you can't be faced with dealing with people, read something, learn something. I use what is called the Pomodoro um, you know, way of reading that every single day I read a minimum four hours. But that's not consistent four hours. I read 30 minute intervals and you'll notice that you're wasting time in between by by not really calculating or really, you know, um, taking stock of the time that you're using throughout the day. You know, I have made my personal goal to read a book a week. Last year, I read 34 books. Right now, it's um, 19 February. I've already read 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I've read 12 books. And um, the, the, the new one that I'm reading, this one is High Trust Selling. All right. So you can imagine, they say that an average American um, person reads one book a year. And that's not, that's usually like a, a, a fiction book. Now, can you imagine if you're reading at least one book per year or per month or whatever it is that you're doing, you will know a whole lot more than the people in your industry. First of all, that will give you tremendous amount of confidence and you will actually go in there and, and, and reach out to the people that actually need your services. Yes, look, <laughs> I've read 12 so far, you know, because every day this is what I do look in order to read, um, you know, so, so much stuff. Um, every time that I don't, I'm, 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 I have a space in between work, I put a timer and read for 30 minutes. And then when I read for that 30 minutes, automatically what happens is I put a tally and my target is to read four out of every 24 hours I have every single day. 
I'm not saying that's what you should be doing, but at the end of the day, it's it's just gonna give you a tremendous amount. You know, you 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 become invincible in as much as you're learning all these things that your contemporaries are not daring to 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 do that as well you know so it, it helps try it and, and figure out how you can do it and i buy my books from the thrift shop all right so all the books are like a dollar or two dollars and there's usually really really good um you know titles so every sunday or every saturday i go into the thrift shop i spend Plus or minus $12, which means I woke up with 12 new books that are going to help me be, do, and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Or that $12, I could buy McDonald's and what do I do? Go to the bathroom and that's it. So you choose, you know? And speaking of McDonald's, you can't do well if you don't feel well. So if Monday is your day of, oh, I don't know what to do, it's probably because you're not staying healthy. In order to be effective and energetic, health has to be your top priority. For those people that follow me, you would have noticed yesterday I put a, a story. Every Sunday I go cycling for about 50 k's. During the week I lift up heavy things and I run around the block and I walk with my little girl. Because you can't do well if you don't feel well. This energy, you can't sustain it. When nobody is watching, you still need to know that you've got it inside of you. And guess what? Some people don't show up on video because they're not confident in the way they look. So if you stay healthy as an entrepreneur, it will, it will ensure your consistency. And these days, I'll tell you nothing, uh, something for nothing. The closer you are to the camera, the closer you are to the bank. Otherwise, you will go. I mean, otherwise, you will go through life, you know, with less kick each and every day. Nobody wants to follow a you know, low energy human being. The best people, they make no excuses for their health. Because your health account should be nearly as well deposited as your wealth account. You know? And they make conscious decisions to eat well, exercise right. And sometimes we don't know what to eat, we don't know how to exercise, it's because we are not educating ourselves enough on the things that we're supposed to be doing. So that's where books come in. Because once you start caring about your body, you start caring about the work you put out there. And it propels your success. You start meeting up with a lot of people and, and then it goes back to the first thing that I started talking about, which is introducing yourself to a lot more people and following up. And this focus on health also really gets you to start feeling better about yourself. And how you look day in and day out. And the more you control those little things. Because can you imagine one thing that stops people from speaking in public is because they're not, they don't feel well about themselves. You know? And Monday should be your favorite day, guys. Because as an entrepreneur, you have to embrace ambiguity. You know? Not knowing where you're going is the best place to be. But it's difficult for a lot of people because some people want structure. Some people want, you know, you know, answers there and there. But let me tell you something. You can only connect the dots looking backwards. You can never connect the dots looking forwards. So when the path is not spelled out well, that you're going to go and meet Sally. And Sally is going to introduce you to Ngoni. And Ngoni is going to introduce you to Luke. Some people find that very challenging and they cannot make decisions for their future. But I'll tell you something, the top 10% or the top 1%, they love ambiguity. They love, you know, they love surprises. You know, it gives them an opportunity to be creative and to actually stand out from those people that are, are, are around them. When I started this Facebook Live, I didn't realize that it was going to be this big. I just started doing it. Even no, if no one is watching, you'll notice if you come back to this video again, it would have had 100 or 200 views because not everyone can be available at 2 p.m. AEST. You know? So I don't mind making hard decisions around my work or my business. This is the time that I have and I'm going to be consistent about it. And you know what? It leads to higher impact and it's more rewarding when I then get somebody saying, hey, Prosper, I, d I missed out on your video today. Is there something that I missed out on? Or can you 
you know, explain X, Y, and Z that you talked about in your video today. You know? And when you notice that something is not working, you can always adapt. Mondays are for that. Look at what's working and what's not working. And this is where you measure and track all of your success. You know? You can't keep flogging a dead horse. All right? Because if you cannot look back maybe six months or seven months and see that you've become a drastically different person, then you're not growing fast enough. Every three months, you have to reintroduce yourself to your audience because you're, you're bigger than who you are the, the, the last time they saw you. You know? Because most people that I meet or most successful imp uh, uh, people that are you know, self-employed, they're constantly learning and adapting. Every book that you read is you are standing on the shoulders of the person who read that. Can you imagine if you read even three books, you're standing on three shoulders than somebody else who's not even reading nothing. You know, so don't let barriers to to you actually being doing and having a business that's profitable and enjoyable, um, you know, you know, come to you looking as if it's, it's like a lot of work when you're actually investing in yourself. You know, be prepared to adapt, be prepared to change in order for you to be better, happier, and more productive. You know? Change is the only constant that we have. So if you're not changing, if you're not growing, those of you that have kids, you, you probably remember when your kid was born. And now your kid is probably three, four, five, or six, or seven. That means they are growing into a different person, and so are you. But if you're not aiding that growth with reading or meeting new people, expanding your horizons, using Monday and embracing change, then what good is that? You're just going to look back and see all the wasted time that you did not cultivate into, into something that is of use for you, um, you know, in the future. You know? Half of the time, it's all to do with maybe we're not setting goals. Because right now, if you look at this, this is almost the end of February, you know? And if you had goals that, um, you know, or what do you call it? New Year resolutions. Sometimes some people don't know how to continue with them because they don't have the energy. They don't have the knowledge or the wherewithal to continue with those. Because let me tell you guys, goal setting is so underrated, you know? Most people, they don't take the time to do it because they don't know how to. Find out there's a lot of literature around goal setting. There's a lot of literature around how to be, do, and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Don't look at it as if it's some work that you have to accomplish. You know? The value of all of this that I'm talking about is it helps you align with the right actions. And guess what? Your customers need to know you, like you, and trust you. But if they cannot see any of the things, the growth, they cannot see the happiness inside of you, they cannot see the consistency, how are they going to buy from you? So you might look at this video and be like, what is this guy bucking all about? But I'm just saying, guys, I want that you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. You know? And for you to make sure that this is continuously working Always surround yourself with people that are going somewhere. Because if your Monday friends are also wallowing in hangovers and they're also not happy about their lives and the outcomes of their families, then you're an average of the five people you're hanging around with. You know, we are the average of five people we surround with us the most. Look at the five people you, you last spoke to. Are any of them where you really want to be? So it's very critical to be around great people. There's a reason that many successful people tend to be, to be friends with other people that are rising in fame, other people that are actually doing stuff, you know? Because from the onset, when you're around people that motivate you, that's all they talk about. No one is going to be talking about a bomb blast in Bujumbura or something that didn't happen in Kazakhstan. That has got nothing to do with your Monday. You know, I mean, it can be it can be hard if you're used to your ancient friends 
to, 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 to let them go because you are probably better than they are and it makes you feel good to be amongst them. But then you know what they say, you're a big fish in a small pond. That can also entail to your customers because if you're just hanging on to customers and they're not even increasing their accounts, they're not even helping you grow your business, they're not giving you any leads or they're not even giving you any feedback, then sometimes it's time to let go of those people because they're not growing, you know? And once you're there, just be persistent. Look at where you want to go, look at who you want to become and grow into that person. Because persistence is very underrated. Yeah. It's easy to, to work out one time and, and send a couple of emails or to just read one book and think that's it. Because I know some people who do six sit-ups and already start checking for abs. You know, it takes 21 years to be 21 years old. You know? So if it's taking Elon Musk 80 hours a week, what makes you think your eight hour week is going to cut it? So you got to push yourself consistently. Think it through and read yourself of the mediocrity that the 99% is swimming in. You know, and there's nobody that's going to come and knock on your house's door and say, this is, this is what is supposed to happen. This is where it's going to be. The best people work hard and smart and consistently. You know, always do things that are scaling, just like successful athletes. You know, they always, they don't just suddenly emerge just because it's the Olympics. They're working behind the scenes for years so they can craft, you know, they're, 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 they're crafting their, 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 their presentation or their running or whatever it is so they can reach that current point where you only get to see them for 30 seconds. Nobody tells you about the 10,000 hours behind. So from today on, start treating yourself as an iceberg. Only 10% is what we see. The whole of the 90% who's working on that. You know, because it's easy to just assume that, you know, some people got it handed to them because maybe they've got talent or raw talent, but that's almost never the case. Persistence, working on things that you absolutely love and putting in the work. That's how it is, man. You know, and eventually always be accountable for your own actions. Don't go out blaming other people just like it is today and Monday. Go in there, work your butt off as if your life depends on it, because it does. All right. I hope this video on a Monday has really, really moved you to start doing a few things within your business that will help you become profitable and enjoyable. I want that you create sunshine even on a cloudy day within your business, within your life, within everything else that you touch, because I want you to create wealth and to leave lasting impact or legacy. Let's work together and see how that all works out. In the meantime, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Um, have a fantastic day and thank you so much for tuning in. Bye for now.